Well, folks, here it is. The Crosslink Suspended Polaris Razor Turbo S. Coltec, not Velocity, not Live Valve, but the Coltec version suspension. And there's our dogs, neighbor dog running in the background. Um, obviously, we don't have the body panels on it yet. This is going to be the naked version, so people can take a look at the whole suspension system and see how it works. And speaking of how it works, I'm going to go ahead and show you from the front. Now, keep in mind that these springs are small because uh, we don't have a spring compressor, so we put the small springs on there so we could load it up and take it in, and then we will drop by someplace and get the springs compressed and loaded on there. So it'll actually set up a little higher because it's sitting a little low right now because of the short springs. But what happens is when you get a pressure, let's say on this tire right here, there's my finger pointing. I can't tell where it is on the camera all the time. So it lifts up on the corner, it presses down the center there, which goes to the back, and that crosses over to the diagonal tire. So what that does is pushes up on this link here, and as it pushes up, it compresses this spring back here, and it lifts up on this tire too. So as it's lifting up, what it's doing is providing anti-roll capability, and anti-dive, anti-lift, uh, a lot of vehicle stabilization happening there. And these, these shocks are handling 25% of the load of the vehicle, whereas these center shocks, and these are the load distribution shocks, they handle 50% of the load of the vehicle. So both the right rear and the left front uh, uh, load is carried and shared by this shock here. So uh, it, it uh, changes how the vehicle handles, it uh, changes how it goes over bumps, it actually uses less energy to go over an obstacle than a standard suspension does. It has the capability of taking of, of riding really soft and yet taking harder hits, with, and so it's very progressive that way. Um, it doesn't matter whether it lands on one tire or four tires, it, uh, the shocks uh, with the center distribution shock there, it has ability to handle it. You can load the back end really heavy, uh, let's say this is a utility uh, side by side or let's say even a pickup and you load put a big load in the back instead of the back end squatting down What happens is it lowers the front and shares that load so it still has spring available in the back Whereas before you'd totally squat the back end and every bump you hit would be all over the place and the front end would be uh, Pointing sky high. Well, that doesn't happen with this setup. So there's a lot of other positive attributes with it So uh, check out our website um, or go to a Facebook page at Coltec. That's K-O-L-L-T-E-K and check it out. I'll be doing some more video during the show. We're going to go to AIM Expo, which is Power Sports dealership show, and we'll have it on display there at the Track Motive booth. They've been kind enough to sponsor me on my racing for several years, and, uh, and now they're giving us some space to uh, have a little show vehicle. So uh, make sure you say hi to Track Motive too. Uh, they make great axles, and uh, that's why we use them. Um, that's it. Have any questions, post up on Facebook, and we'll go from there. Talk to you later. Bye.